Hey YouTubers, just a quick little prediction, I guess speculation video, just kind of looking outward into, you know, the near future about A Dog's Purpose opening up January 27th, 2017. No, I don't know if y'all been kind of following this up into this point, but uh, if you have, you know that PETA has released a a petition or there are petitions and PETA has released a boycott on this film because of video that dropped earlier this week from TMZ they got a hold of some video of a German Shepherd uh, seemingly being abused and forced into a set created to give the appearance of running water uh, the the German Shepherd being forced into the water when it was obviously very visually scared and no one necessarily doing anything about it in fact the person filming it uh, is laughing about the situation oh just throw him in he's like he doesn't know that it's not cold as if the cold water was the issue that the uh, German Shepherd didn't want to get into the water which it just seems really really ridiculous honestly um not the not the not the boycott. I I feel like there is some validity to what they are saying. And if for those who don't know, as of right now, we have about eighteen thousand people, which is a good substantial number of people, have signed a petition, uh, a, a general general petition, to uh, boycott the film unless the producers of the film and maybe even Universal itself. Uh, I believe it's Universal. Um, donate profits or the proceeds from the movie to uh, help protect uh, the uh, help protect dogs and other animals that are abused you know uh, you know charities and whatnot and honestly like I, I'm very surprised not that not that I don't care for um, I guess not that I don't care for these situations obviously this is something that a lot of people just won't stand for you know the there's already a whole lot of legal battles and uh this idea that you know these animals they can't speak for themselves so we need to protect them and uh obviously that obviously they do have a lot of sympathy for them and everything and i and i as well i as well i feel like this is something that is a legitimate issue especially you know one of the things that we hear or see of in the end of all credits and everything is just a proclamation that no animals were harmed during the making of this film and they can't necessarily put that i feel like if they did put that uh that would also cause a huge uproar but this has become a big issue for for the studio because uh they actually ended up canceling their premiere in los angeles because of all this stuff that was going on i personally feel like that i'm not saying one way or the other whether you want to support this or not personally i am going to be signing the petition that would would have universal and uh the producers of this film to at least donate some of the proceeds to help uh animals that are being hurt because i feel like that is something that we really need uh especially after all this it would be a good way of showing faith and kind of giving it a reason to be like look this is not something that we wanted to do this is not something that we intended we wanted to tell this beautiful story about the concept of dogs and dogs rights and the sympathy that we have for dogs and just how they make us better i mean for a lot of people out there myself included uh people love pets dogs cats anything you want because it represents some kind of companionship and a friendship and you know something becomes a part of your family and very very frequently uh although it has been a long time and one of the reasons this movie is because uh one of the reasons i was thinking that this movie at the beginning of the month was going to be a big like mid-level hit for the studio and also a big hit for the uh for the beginning of the year not crazy money not like a hundred million dollars type of money but it was being sold very well as this kind of a tearjerker uh kind of interesting film and now this seemingly has hit it and i don't know how it's going to be affecting the movie's box office and that's really what i want to talk about like how is this movie how is this issue going to affect its box office because this is something that's not really going to go away anytime soon you've had up this week you've had josh gab and the director of the film and the producers even they've all come out and and talked against this the studios talked against this this is not what they wanted this is they didn't necessarily know this was going to happen a lot of people won't take those excuses or anything like that they're not going to just let them off that easily and i don't think we should but We've had a lot of the creative team come out in support of the film and the beauty of the film, and they do believe they've made something genuinely worth watching, a very good product. And this is something, uh, sadly, I don't know if they're going to be getting over. Obviously, 
one of the things that we were looking for, at least a lot, me and as well as a lot of other people were looking at is maybe this movie was going to make enough money to make like uh, $75,000 for the studio. Uh, not in pure profits, but basically 75000 domestically, and then whatever it can make uh, outside. Obviously, like I said before, this is kind of a tearjerker movie that's kind of just, you know, it's been a long time since we've had one of these films, and especially with all of the action that's coming out this month. You have Underworld, you have Triple X. At the same weekend of this movie, you have Resident Evil. You have all of these big action sequels that are, you know, those those kind of like, let's just put them in January. No one really thinks or even wants to see them anymore. But one of the things we're looking at now, honestly, um, I think that will actually end up being, you know, a detriment to what they were thinking about. Honestly, uh, this is not something when I first saw it uh, earlier this week was this was going to be something, you know, movies get protested all the time. Movies get boycotted all the time from groups, from all these other uh, you know, conscious groups about one issue or another, but they don't necessarily seem to affect the overall concept. But this is the last time, the first time in a very long time, I think, the very long time that we've seen a movie actually somewhat get hurt by boycotts and a group kind of putting themselves up there and saying, do not see this movie because of this, that, or the other. And honestly, it not only is it interesting, to, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what they come up with, uh, how, how they end up fighting this, or how they end up kind of compensating for the harm done during the film of, filming of this movie. And if they've said they're looking into it. They're saying that, you know, people will be uh, put to justice, uh, quote unquote, justice, or, you know, they will feel the consequences of their actions here. Uh, the studio has said that I, I am inclined to believe them. I really hope that they are not just like putting fluff out there. Like I said, they can like the petition that I'm going to put in the description below that you can go sign is saying that, you know, you can show us that you're in, you can show us by giving your profits to this, you know, you just write it off and show everyone your goodwill and that this was not never meant to happen. And you just wanted to make a good film. I think that's a good, that's a good uh, way to start for the studio. But personally, uh, I'm really concerned because this movie has been looking very good. It's a, like I said, tearjerker, heartfelt, uh, very much pro dog, uh, at least in the marketing, maybe even the movie itself. Once we see it, it's something that I've been looking forward to see for the last couple months now, ever since I saw the first trailer. And it just really looks like this is going to be a thing that puts kind of a, you know, it's going to kind of kill the film's momentum at this point and it's going to end up affecting it uh really really heavily and you know if if what we see in that video was any indication of how they actually ran the set i know it is somewhat unfair to judge that one less than a minute or a little under over a minute video on the entire production and the the concept or worldview or abuse that might have happened throughout the entire uh filming we don't it's just one little glimpse and we don't get to see everything is it worth judging so harshly i don't necessarily know uh i feel like we could be looking at it from the from the wrong way and we didn't get to see any good things that came out of this or could have come out of this or anything so let let me just end by saying i hope that universal does does good by this community of PETA and everyone else who is just overly concerned about this and rightfully so overly concerned about this. And I hope that the movie can find it, its success outside of this stuff and people who are boycotting it will hopefully come around if, if universal makes this right. I don't know how you're going to appease everyone, but hopefully they appease enough people that this movie is seen if it deserves to be seen. And if it's as good as it looks uh, personally right now, I feel like, you know, this movie should have opened up around $25 million, uh, its opening weekend. I don't know. I don't know whether that's still true. I don't know whether we need to be looking at it from a different angle right now. Personally, I'm going to come up with saying that it will probably make $16 million its opening weekend if this boycott continues and becomes huge, hugely an unacceptable thing. And it might even close around $40 million domestically, which... If none of this were to happen, like I already said, it probably could have opened up much wider 
uh, are much bigger and then also close with a much greater sum. But at this point, I feel like this is kind of something that's going to be haunting it for the remainder of its box office run and even probably into its home market sales in future. Uh, if they do not do good by the people who want them to actually change or figure out a good way to say sorry. So I know that's a little bit of a depressing kind of video. I know it's a little bit interesting to think about whether or not this is going to be something that harms this film or even Universal's reputation going forward. Uh, but I thought it was worth talking about and I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Anyway guys, I'm going to be doing these real number videos hopefully every other Tuesday, uh, you know, a bi-monthly thing for the remainder of uh, the, the rest of the year, but I'm also gonna do special videos like this when something is worth talking about. So if you did like this video, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and tell me that you like this video. Tell me you wanna see more of this stuff because I will do more of it. I really like box office numbers. I really like to follow this stuff just in my own personal time, and I wanna make videos about them. Anyway, guys, 